a previous video, I shared my journey in learning about electronics and computer engineering, starting with the Ben Eater 6502 kit, then designing a 6502 computer with integrated VGA, as well as porting MS Basic and Load Runner to my computer. I'll put a link in the description in case you haven't seen it and would like the backstory. In my free time, I've been developing my machine and porting software. I wanted to share with the homebrew computer community the GitHub forks for software that I'm porting to my machine in the hopes that someone now or in the future will find them useful for their own homebrew computer. I'm building a DOS. Being able to load and save files to a micro SD card is extremely useful. George Foote's 6502 SD card GitHub repo has a 6502 implementation that Bitbang Spy supports FAT32 with a 512 byte cluster size. It takes a special kind of person to do something like this. And thank you, George. WaveRider slash Unstinkable has a PR outstanding in the repo that added writing support as well. I've taken both uh, sets of these changes and have them working on my fork of the page table MS Basic project. Lee Fastenau created an Apple II implementation of Conway's Game of Life and Assembly. This was a fairly easy port. It's designed for text mode graphics. Thanks, Lee. The next project was interesting. It's a CC65 project and is written in C. I ended up forking CC65 and adding my machine as a new machine target. If you look at the code changes in my CC65 fork, you can see how to do this for your own machine. This is Breakout by Pyrex8 and written in C for the Apple II. Fun and challenging. Thanks, Pyrex. The C runtime is useful because you only have to write system-specific functions once, making all subsequent ports simpler. For example, with assembly programs, for each program, you might have to replace the keyboard handling code to work for your specific machine. With the CRT, the C program calls a standard library function. Once that function has been implemented, all future ports can use it for free. This next project is also a C program and is an excellent target for porting. It's already ported to a bunch of 6502 platforms, including a version for text-only terminal output. I ported the Apple II version. Your machine will need almost 32 KB of free RAM to load it. My machine has 48 K of addressable RAM and it barely fit. CC65 Chess is provided by Stefan Wessels and it's very high quality. The chess game is fun and pretty great for an 8-bit computer. Thanks, Stefan. It amazes me how many active open source projects there are for the 6502 processor. This next project is also a C program provided by Stefan Wessel and also has ports for a few 6502 machines. I'd never heard of GoMoku before porting the project. The game is fun and challenging. The objective is to get five in a row. The first player to get five in a row wins. As of now, the game beats me more often than I beat it. The next program is also a CC65 program provided by 8-Bit Club. It's a simple lunar lander game written for the Apple II. Thanks, 8-Bit Club. The next program is also from Pyrex 8 and is an assembly language project. It was written for the Apple II and is a bouncing ball demo. Still kind of fun. Thanks again, Pyrex. Okay, here is MS Basic. You can now load files from the SD card. If you're interested in my DOS implementation, it's in the EB6502 GitHub fork. Basic is built using the CC65 toolchain, but it's all assembly language. That's all the ports for now, although I have my eye on Ultima 4. I need to start writing some DOS routines for some of these programs that have disk access. I hope the video will be helpful to someone looking for software to port to their homebrew 6502. If you're interested in getting started with a homebrew computer and don't know where to start, try the Ben Eater 6502 kit or his 8-bit computer kit. Ben is an excellent teacher. The R Ben Eater forum on Reddit is also excellent. I'll have a booth again at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo this year, and I'll bring my homebrew computer. Stay healthy and stay sane, and maybe I'll see you at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Bye for now.